Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Forky Upscaler. As you all know, we're almost, what, half an hour before official launch of this gigantic juggernaut of a game called Red Dead Redemption 2. But I don't want to talk about that. That video is coming early in the morning. It'll be a big, gigantic file, uh, 12 megapixels. be a very good quality camera. We're going to do a bunch of tests. Okay, all of that stuff is coming early in the morning. Early in the morning. You will see it when you wake up. You will see that video. But before we start doing the Red Dead Redemption 2, I want to talk about the Rockstar. You know, this video is strictly me talking directly to the Rockstar Games. I'm not making this video for my subscribers. I'm making this video for the Rockstar Games Incorporated. Take Two Games, Rockstar Games Incorporated. And I want to ask them something. Personally, this is what I want to ask Rock, Rockstar Games. Here's my message to you. If somebody buys your video game, spends money on it, I assume the reason you exist it's because people pay for your video games. If no one buys your video games, you don't exist. You get shut down. Your company doesn't exist. Okay? I know you're a big company. You're billionaires now. Okay? Everybody gets cocky because they got such a big, huge name. All right? Remember who made you big. The gamers. People like me who go out there, buy your games, and play your video games. Now, having said that, here's what I want to say to you, Rockstar Games. If you believe that someone who shows not even a gameplay, not even a gameplay, someone who shows a photo, a paused photo still, of your video game, it's automatically scheduled for copyright strike? If that's how you feel, then why don't you take down Digital Foundry video? They showed plenty of stuff. Why don't you take down IGN video? They shown plenty of stuff. Why don't you take down GameSpot videos? They have plenty of stuff. But you going after the middleman after the guy who actually buys your video games okay as you can see it here I bought your video game hold on let me bring my camera closer maybe you can see it you see I bought it I bought your video game it's ready to play I bought it I spent 60 bucks on this game not just the Xbox one X version but the PlayStation 4 Pro version as well and I'm going to be contributing my respect and my support for your video games and my support for your hard work that your employees have put into thousands of hours to make this game happen. And Rockstar, what do you do? You take down videos. First of all, my video wasn't even a video. It was a paused photo still video. I did send a counter to my copy strike. Hopefully you guys will re-examine that counter that I sent to you on that uh, copyright strike. And I hope that you guys re-examine that video. And if you can show me what is in that video that I have earned a copyright strike, I would like to know. Did I spoil anything? No. I was guessing. I was saying, I, I assume this is somewhere far away in the game. I was assuming, okay? I didn't show the gameplay. As a matter of fact, that leaked video was paused, wasn't even played. It was in a paused still motion. I was just showing photo stills. I wasn't even showing the gameplay and the photo stills were 480p with my camera onto this television 480p you can't even tell what's what 
you can't even tell what's going on. It, it was hard to tell what was going on. That's how blurry that photo was, that paused still photo was. It was a paused still photo. So if that's something that I'm going to get a copy strike on, then why should we even bother buying a game? Why should anyone bother, you know, advertising your game? You still get the royalty fee from YouTube. I'm just simply saying, the way you guys do this, it's very, very unfair. Okay? You need to review that video properly before you copy strike someone. But here's how this works. You guys didn't even manually review that video. All you guys saw was a bunch of trolls hitting the flag, 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 flag on my video. And the only thing you saw was, oh, good lord, this guy showing a gameplay spoiler footage or something. And I guarantee you that the rock star didn't even manually review that video. I guarantee it, okay, because there was nothing on that video that was worth copyright strike. Maybe a warning, maybe copyright warning or something, but not a copyright strike, okay? There was nothing there that was spoiling. You couldn't even see shit. It was a shit video with shit still photos. So anyway, what I want to say here is this. I think it's uh, totally unfair the way you guys decide whose video should stay and whose video shouldn't stay. I think, to be fair, you guys need to review the video or at least give somebody a warning and let them know, hey, you know, uh, this video has this, this, and that. Maybe you should d delete it, remove it. But let's face it, Rockstar, even this video the Rockstar is not going to watch. They're not going to watch this video. They're not going to care. What is this guy with the head thinks? I wouldn't give a shit. We're billionaires. We don't care. But hopefully this video will attract other people out there who will realize, hey, you know, some of these companies are getting too... Uh, What's the word I'm trying to use? I'm trying to use the proper word here. They're getting too power hungry. You know, they feel that their game or that their company is some kind of like holy God or like some holy whatever. The only reason you are so successful, Rockstar, it's because of people like me and others who spend their hard-earned cash buying your games. That's why it's so successful. If it wasn't for me, if it wasn't for the millions of other people out there who buy your games, you wouldn't be where you are. I guarantee you that. You wouldn't be where you are. Okay? So maybe you should appreciate a little bit more your fans and people who are passionate about your games and I wonder how you guys are gonna act tomorrow, on Friday. How do I know that my videos won't be taken down, even for me doing a comparison test? How, do, how can I trust you? How can I trust you? I've seen other videos out there showing the entire gameplay and they're still, they're still running. They're still there. Do you manually review every in each video? No, you don't. You don't manually review every in each video. What you do is you have this stupid, retarded system put in place that automatically, as soon as they see multiple, multiple, multiple flags, goes back to you and you guys automatically flag the video and you take it down. It's an automatic system that's put into place. And this is also Google's YouTube's fault as well. They allow this vacuum of chaos to be bred into the, the YouTube community. 
and then YouTube has this nerve to talk about, oh, we want to have, uh, we want to help the content creator. How are you helping content creators? YouTube, how exactly are you helping the content creators? How are you helping them? By putting handcuffs on them? By restraining them? How are you helping them? I don't think you're helping them. You're making it almost impossible for them to operate on this platform. How do I know what's, what can I even upload anymore? This might be too sensitive. This might be this, this might be that. Pretty soon, I don't even know if I can even upload any videos at all. Because I don't know what, what, what is good for you. What is good for you, YouTube? I don't know. Is this video good for you? Is my tone of voice good for you? Am I upset? Well, yeah, I'm a little bit upset because I don't appreciate when something like this happens where I'm being taken down and, and given a copyright strike for something that obviously wasn't that big of a deal to begin with. I get very upset when I see injustice, unfairness, and when I see this automatic system that you have put in place that doesn't manually review stuff. And why do you not review all of this manually? You don't review it manually because you know you don't have that much of employees to be looking in every and each video around the globe. I get that. I understand that. But it's also not fair for the content creators. Look how many copyright infringements Angry Joe got, PewDiePie got, all these other guys, big YouTubers, how many of them they got it? Did you listen to them? I don't think so. They were still getting those copyrights. So how are you helping the content creators? So what else do I want to say here? Rockstar. Rockstar, Rockstar Games. And I'm even debating if I should even advertise your game. I mean, your game's already advertised. But I am just simply don't understand how... Based... It's, look, it's unfair. Let's just put it this way. The way you guys are running this YouTube uh, platform, it's totally unfair. You know, you letting some trolls, some trolls out there hit the flag with dozens of accounts that they created you allow them to use the hate speech you allow them to use all kinds of nastiness and how many of these guys have I reported these individuals these sick bastards you never taken them down yet you talk about you want to keep the YouTube community safe and all this other bullshit if you care about keeping the YouTube community safe then why haven't you taken down these individuals you can track their IPS addresses just like you can track my IPS address right now I wasn't bored two minutes ago, okay? And quite honestly, I don't give a shit about this, this whole thing, YouTube. I'm doing it for fun, because I love doing it. But I'm just simply letting you know that this is wrong. You're not helping content creators. You're driving away content creators to go somewhere else. I don't know, whatever that is. Maybe something else will come along. Maybe Elon Musk will create a new YouTube called MuskTube or Elon Tube or whatever. Maybe some other billionaire out there will create a different platform that'll be in competition to you. You know, I don't know. Maybe people will go somewhere else. Maybe people will open their own uh, websites and do it from there. But right now, your rules, your regulations, uh, it's putting a stranglehold on a lot of content creators okay and that's just it's difficult for a, a person like me or anybody out there to know what exactly can I upload this is not um, what, what was the new thing that you guys have um, this is not a advertise uh, advertisement friendly this is not advertisement friendly. Well, how do I know what's advertisement friendly? How could I tell what's advertisement friendly? Why? Because the way I look, the way I talk, or maybe because I'm using my first amendment.
to express myself. So which, which is it? Do you honor the First Amendment? Do you allow me to say what I want to say? Or do you actually suck up to some sponsors out there who give you a truckload of cash? Which is it? I'm just simply saying, if you want to help the content creators, then you got to have a better protective tools, better tools where you could easily listen. You can easily pay a royalty fee for the Rockstar, EA, all of these big companies. So that way they don't trigger happy click copyright strike on whenever they feel like. You can easily pay a royalty fee. So that way you can protect a content creator. You can, there's many different things you can do to protect uh, a content creator. But, you, but I don't see you do that, YouTube. I don't see you do that. All I see you do is suck up to these big companies, these billionaire companies. You suck up to them, and you let them do what they want to do. And then you let these trolls, these 30, 40... You know how many accounts I can open right now, YouTube? I can open hundreds of accounts with hundreds of different emails, and I can go around and flag people left and right anonymously. I can do that. Why? Because you created a system that allows to do that. You created this vacuum of freaking chaos on your platform for this to happen. That's all I got to say, honestly. And I think what I just said here pretty much is self-explanatory. And as far as uh, Rockstar, Rockstar, Games Incorporated. Take Two Games, Rockstar Games Incorporated. I love you. I love your games. I support you. I have always supported you. I have always bought every single game that you have created. I have pretty much every game that you did. Every game that you created from Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto 2, 3, 4, San Andreas, Vice City, everything you have done. In the past, I have bought your games, I have supported you. But right now, I feel, I don't know. What is, what can I upload from, from your video games? What am I allowed to upload? How do I know what's not copyrighted, what's copyrighted? How do I know? You're going to hear a, 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 a special effect. I don't know, maybe guns blazing, special effect. You're going to say, oh, this is copyrighted material. We use the special effects from so-and-so-and-so. I hear the waterfall. Sorry, we use this waterfall. We recorded it from some national park somewhere. And uh, this is copyrighted material. How the hell do I know what, what I'm allowed to, to upload and not upload? How do I know? How can any content creator out there know what I'm allowed to show? Even with this game, that's just a minutes away from being released. How do I know what's appropriate and what's not appropriate? How do I know? It's not like I have a list of yes and don'ts on, on, on your video games. I don't know. So nothing is clear to me as far as what I can show. And the worst part is, you allow these trolls, these haters, to hit the, to hit the flag and automatically, without you even manually reviewing the video, automatically you want to give a copyright strikes. How do I know that tomorrow, if I release my comparison video, that maybe 100 or 200 of these fake accounts of these haters are not going to hit the flag. How do I know that they're not going to do that? And how can I trust you and the YouTube that you guys are not going to manually review the video to see that it's bogus, that it's misleading? So you see what I'm saying? You, uh, the YouTube and all of these big giant companies like Rockstar and EA and all of them out there, the big ones, they're making it very difficult for a content creator to know 
what actually am I able to upload. And seriously, Google, YouTube, if you want to make, if you want to help a content creator, you got to do a better job protecting your content creators, man. Right now, you're not, you're doing a poor job, poor, 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 very poor job of protecting the content creators. And the only reason the YouTube exists, it's because of the content creators. If it wasn't for the content creators and other small businesses who use the YouTube to promote their business, you wouldn't exist, man. Your stock would go down, that's it. So I just don't understand why you don't want to protect the content creators. I don't see the protection here for the content cre creators. All I see you doing is protecting sponsored YouTubers. All I see you doing is protecting the, the, the money, where the money is. You're basically protecting the money assets. You don't protect the content creators that help you make that money asset. You're basically protecting the money asset that you made from these various different outlets. And you're just using a content creators to make that money. Tell me if I'm wrong. But you can do something right. You can do something different. You can protect the content creators. There's many different rules you can put in place to protect the content creators. But, meh. Are you going to do it? Highly unlike unlikely. So anyway, this video has gone maybe way too long. I just wanted to get this off my chest and uh, say what I need to say. Because uh, honestly, I think... Uh, it's getting worse uh, putting videos on YouTube honestly because I don't know what's what I'm allowed to show alright guys well there you go there you have it thank you for watching